Dear learners, greetings. In the last few lecture, we had discussed about uh, the cardiovascular system uh, related drugs. In that, uh, what is angina pectoris? Uh, then, what is the classification of anti-anginal uh, drug? What is the mechanism of anti-anginal drug? So that part we had discussed. Now, one of the anti-anginal drug vasodilator that we had discussed about the organic nitrates, right? In that, I, I had. Uh, shown you that there is one drug which is isosorbide dinitrate so that isosorbide dinitrate what it is i'll i'll just uh, repeat for you it is nothing but isosorbide okay and then it's a dinitrate okay now from here from this you have come to know that it is having the dinitrate dinitrate means two nitro groups are there okay so in that we had seen that how we are going to write that dinitrate so you know that this is o n o 2 isn't it so this is o n o 2 like that so there will be two dinitrates are there from isosorbide you must be knowing that isosorbide it's something relate relevant to sorbitol sorbide sorbitol and sorbitol D sorbitol and D sorbitol is a reduced compound from D glucose. Okay, I will show you how, how we, we are going to do that. But basically, what is this isosorbide dinitrate ring? See this. It's a two five membered uh, ring which are fused with each other like this. Okay, and then we are having one oxygen here, another oxygen here, and you know that the two dinitros are present so where they are so at this place o n o 2 and at this place this is o n o 2 so this is your isosorbide dinitrate now first see it's something like synthone approach we will do that what is it that first you understand what is the basic nucleus or what is that structure of isosorbide dinitrate is once you understand that then we will go for the synthesis in this isosorbide dinitrate you see how many number of carbons are present you check one two this is uh, three then this is four five six and seven so one two three four the, here is not five this is three this is four this one is five and this one is six so that is total six carbons are present right now the same structure the same structure if i draw in a in a in a straight chain compound how it would be so that six carbons are there check this one two three four five and six to this six carbon now first is what first is ch2 understand the next would be ch and to this it is o n o 2 then the third third is ch and oxygen is added that we will uh, see later on then the fourth fourth again it is ch understand and fifth it is again h n o 2 understand and then the last one is ch2 understand then between the first first and fourth okay so that is we are going to attach what check this now this is first i'll draw it one two three four five and six okay now in this particular structure you check from one and this is four one and four this is one and this is four in between one and four one oxygen is attached and similarly check here another is this one that is three and six this is three and six so here the oxygen is attached right so that if 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 you want to know the iupac name also so that it's very easy to understand this how it is see this is one comma four and three comma six understand so one comma four and three comma six this one one comma four three comma six di anhydro understand so that is di anhydro and what it is di anhydro then here here it is o n o 2 and where it is and here it is also o n o 2 
isn't it so that would be your die at which position 2 and 5 die o this is o o nitro die o nitro deglucitol so this is what the iupac name for this structure so uh, now first i have shown you the cyclic structure isostructure and then i have shown you the linear structure so that you come to know that how we are going to write the iupac name also now from this uh, structure check this this one structure okay now you you got the idea that it is something which uh, we have to uh, start with the uh, glucose molecule right now <coughs> glucose molecule I'll, I'll write okay so how i'm going to write the uh, d glucose check this one two three four five and six okay now you know that glucose it is so that is c h o is there right and thereafter this the, the, the here it is the CH2OH last one isn't it and then this is H OH H and H at this position OH H OH and here again it's OH so this is your D glucose right now this if this D glucose undergoes the reduction reaction in presence of platinum and hydrogen so what is going to happen is the reduction takes place so reduction once it undergoes the reduction what will happen is the reduction will take place so what happens so this part uh, will be changing and this part would be your CH2OH this particular structure that is D-glucose we started with the D-glucose and this D-glucose we have converted into what this is the sorbitol this is sorbitol reduced form of the D glucose understand so this is the sorbitol so once you get this uh, sorbitol then <coughs> first part is done from D glucose you got the uh, D sorbitol understand so this D sorbitol what I am going to do is I will try uh, to uh, I will just wipe this structure so now no need of this uh, structure now ok and <coughs> what I will do is the same structure I will number it again 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so same structure I will I will write this way check up 1 1 2 3 4 okay this one the same the one which is here understand so this is 1 2 3 4 okay this is 5 and this is 6 the same carbon I am putting here right then at the one position what it is it is CH2 okay and OH isn't it this is one then at the second position you check CHOH so I will put here OH and the H right at the third position again CHOH so H is already here so I will put here OH got it then at the fourth fourth again CHOH so H is here then here it is OH at fifth position again it's CHOH so this is OH and 1H is present here right and then at the sixth position it is CH2OH so this is CH2 and this is OH are you getting me what I am doing is I am drawing the same structure and trying into the cyclic form so what I first started with D glucose so D glucose I reduced it by using platinum and hydrogen and it forms what it forms the D sorbitol right that is CH2H at the first and then CH2H at the sixth position got it now once you get this one the next step what we did is this particular compound we are trying to write in a cyclic form the same one which I I have written in the first part that is a D sorbitol uh, the D sorbitol we are going to convert into the isosorbitol now this one is your isosorbide dinitrate understand but same way now if you want this isosorbide dinitrate what will be the next step that is this OH and H condensation you remove this uh, water again this OH and this H we remove it so once we remove it what will be the structure you will get the structure as okay so same thing I will do I will remove here and uh, this part then what it would be 
this would be your oxygen right and this would be your oxygen now you check this is a isosorbide isosorbital isosorbide we have to convert it into the isosorbide dinitrate now this is oh this is oh now this particular oh we are going to convert it into the this is what this is the final structure got that so here we need to convert it so what is the difference see here only the difference is here is oh and here is ono2 here it is oh and here it is ono2 so how will we we'll, how we are going to change it again it's a very simple how this can be done that is the nitration reaction nitric acid and sulfuric acid if i use nitric acid and sulfuric acid then this oh this hydrogen will be converted or will be replaced uh, with the ono2 here again it will come as ono2 and it will come as a ono2 and you will get the final compound as isosorbide dinitrate this is the synthesis of isosorbide dinitrate we using the d glucose converted into that is uh, reduced into d sorbitol d sorbitol we tried writing in the same way as that of the final compound always keep it in you into your mind the final structure got it so that will decipher so many things now only caveat is you should know that how it is going to uh, decipher the structure the synthonapper got it now then oh oh are there so we removed one water molecule got that so that once the water molecule is removed the cyclization will takes place and once it cyclized then the last step could be the nitration reaction with the nitric acid and sulfuric acid you will get the final compound as isosorbide dinitrate this is the isosorbide dinitrate which is going to uh, the the sulfur compound uh, uh, having in the body and it will form the ns linkage you know that understand the glutathione are there so this glutathione is sulfur containing compound and they will react with this so that sulfur and nitrogen linkage will take place then sulfur nitrogen break the homolytic cleavage will take place you will get the nitric oxide that is no this nitric oxide uh, you know that this uh, nitric oxide uh, will not form uh, the mycene Uh, light chain uh, kinase enzyme activation will not take place the first understand so uh, and what will happen as there is no active uh, no formation will be there so that it will not react with actin and you will not get the uh, contraction uh, will not take place and you i have explained this all the things through the uh, cyclic gmp uh, understand so that is ultimately the vasodilation will take place so that the blood will be easily supplied uh, to the coronary uh, muscles oxygen will be supplied so that the normal contraction relaxation will take place and so that the ischemic condition which has happened because of uh, uh, the less blood supply because of the contraction of the muscles i mean contraction of the uh, smooth muscles in the uh, vessel that will be countered and uh, the uh, your anti anginal effect will be there so i have explained this effect very uh, precisely and very fast but in my last videos you can see uh, the mechanism of this particular drug but this entire video is for the synthesis of isosorbide dinitrate hope you have understand it thank you